Hello everyone, what's up? Moses here, uh, bringing you an update on the Scion Ignite Lightning Arrow character with the Stormfire and the Zoff Nurture. Um, just kind of like to show you what we made. So level 80 was finally achieved. Stormfire is finally, uh, you know, able to be equipped and now our lightning damage can ignite. So the idea of the build is to convert all of our damage to lightning, try and get as big of a hit that we possibly can with our lightning and then burn uh, and proliferate our burn using Zoff Nurture. So the conversion works with lightning arrow and with physical to lightning converting 100% of our damage to lightning and so the 50% from the bow converted to fire is irrelevant in this case and then ignite proliferation giving us more ignite damage and spreads the burn to other enemies um, yeah so our damage is lightning um, and the ignite in this game is always fire so we are using elemental equilibrium so when we're hitting with lightning uh, enemies will suffer negative cold and fire resistance um, and elemental overload so when we crit we deal 40% more damage if we've crit recently but we don't have any crit multiplier which works perfectly for a build like this because this is a non-crit build uh, just a pure elemental damage over time uh, ignite build so um, our current links are uh, physical lightning, lightning arrow, burning damage, uh, elemental damage with attacks, and combustion. Our sixth link, if we finally manage to get one, uh, is going to be uh, swift affliction to burn enemies faster and a big more damage over time multiplier. Uh, another way to achieve burning enemies faster or reducing the ignite is uh, Diadian Dawn, which is a unique belt that I currently don't have. Attacks deal damage 35% faster, um, means that enemies will burn quicker, so we're dealing our damage uh, quicker. Um, so we're dealing more damage over time. So it's actually pretty, pretty strong uh, for us, this belt. Uh, currently, don't have it because solo still found. Um, but yeah, that's the concept of the build, and these are the links on the main uh, bow to guarantee. Uh, elemental overload proc we are using orb of storms with increased critical strikes for the elemental overload but also to get a little blind happening uh, defensively and calling strike because it's just pretty nice to kill enemies at 10% HP um, outside of that we do have dash and blink arrow faster attacks as our movement sk skills and then Wrath and Herald of Thunder to add a big flat lightning damage to attacks from our, um, you know, reservation. Uh, this, of course, will scale our ignite damage, so more flat lightning damage that we can get is going to be very good for us. Or flat physical, but flat lightning is generally better um, because it just has higher values. Uh, flat fizz over here, some fire damage, uh, some lightning damage, some life, and elemental damage with attack. So this ring has it all, basically. Um, this amulet here has big lightning damage to attacks, um, some fire damage, some life, elemental damage with attacks, and a single resist. But we also anointed Breath of Flames. Breath of Flames, incredibly strong node that we would otherwise have to go through. Um, the damage over time multiplier is very limited on the tree where you can actually get it but it's an incredible source of damage because it literally gives us a big multiplier uh, for our uh, damage so we can get it here uh, so we anointed breath of flames and we can also get it here uh, and we're going to get to growth and decay uh, five more levels is going to be a little bit but we're going to get there um, eventually uh, maybe even next level I'm going to unspec these nodes and just get to here once we have another level which is pretty soon because the damage over time multiplier is huge for a build like this. We can also get it on a quiver. I was unable to get it at this point simply because SSF and I ended up crafting and you know I cast spam this but I ended up using uh, all my alterations trying to alt regal life damage over time multiplier and elemental damage with attacks 
and craft attack speed. Attack speed doesn't really matter too much on this build because you just need to hit once and everything, the, the burn, the, the fire damage spreads. Um, but that's what I tried to do, spent about 800 alterations, couldn't get it. What I did, however, get with uh, my alterations was this, which is pretty incredible. Uh, damage over time, fire damage and burning damage on this Viridian Jewel, pretty incredible. And this as well with the fire damage, damage over time and maximum life. So pretty strong jewels here we we're able to get. Uh, outside of that, the gear is pretty standard. I mean, life resists. Um, I can't think of a good chest I would want for a build like this at this point in my life. But, you know, i in SSF, so very limited choices anyways. I just picked up one that will fill in all my resistances. This one's pretty uh, substantial resistances, uh, as you can see. And uh, decent life roll, nothing even too great. Uh, life resists, life resists. The helm enchant here with lightning arrow hits and additional enemy is irrelevant. Because, again, we just need to hit once and then it spreads. So hitting an additional enemy doesn't really help us too much. But, you know, it's there, so why not? And, uh, yeah, this is basically it. Fossil crafted belt um, with some lightning damage to attacks on the jewel. When it comes to the flasks, we have uh, curing, sulfur for increased damage, warding uh, for curses and for movement speed, dodge with uh, quartz flask of heat for freezes and chills, and a witch fire brew, which gives us despair. Uh, despair makes enemies take increased damage over time and an increased damage over time um, <clears throat> during flask effects. So it's like a double effect on the witch fire brew um, over here, and a life flask, an instant life flask over here. What else? The ascendancies I ended up going with uh, Raider. And, uh, you know, for the dodge, for the movement speed, for the frenzies, for the onslaught, it just feels very smooth as a bow character to be quick. And uh, Chieftain, with the fire damage and covers enemies with ash, these are like the big two things here. Uh, fire damage 40% is really decent, and covering enemies with ash makes enemies take 20% increased fire damage, which is essentially more uh, damage over here uh, for us on the Chieftain. Um, and yeah, Overlab is done uh, for the future of this character. Again, we're going to get here um, to Growth and Decay. It's pretty massive for us. And then we're just going to start picking up, filling in all the life nodes that we can get throughout the life of this character. I did end up going Lightning Walker as well as Fire Walker. Uh, and I did end up picking up one Mono Leech node over here. And these two nodes seem pretty incredible because of the damage with bows and damage over time with bows. So it's like 60% for two points. Very good investment in my opinion. Acrophase Acro. And again, all the fire, uh, fire multiplier here. Uh, and all the life that we can get. So this is basically the build. Some damage over time, all the elemental damage. Um, all the life um, that's that's basically the character so <clears throat> let's get in uh, the problem again with this character is that we're missing uh, we're missing a few things that otherwise we could have easily uh, gotten uh, I'm talking of course about uh, the fact that we don't have um, you know um, um, quality on our gems, we don't have, uh, um, you know, uh, Helm Enchant, we don't have Six Link, and we don't have the Addy and Dawn. Uh, all those things are going to massively increase our overall damage, and I'm not going to be able to tell, because un unless we somehow manage to get all those things, uh, flipping gems, getting quality is feasible because all it takes is grinding, but I don't know if we're going to find that in Dawn Belt. Um, and I'm really not sure about Six Link. Uh, this league I have been very unlucky with Six Links. Um, unlike last league, I finished with like 6.5 thousand fusings after linking everything. Like everything worked last league, it was pretty incredible. 
uh, like no matter what I did, it's like, I don't know, it's like I had a freaking golden touch of fusings. Things were linking in just a couple of dozen fusings. I'm not going to get into the boss because uh, this build really does have single target uh, issues, uh, to put it mildly. It really does. Th oh, it really does take uh, quite a long time. Didn't have flask there. Kind of got frozen. Um, it really does take quite a long time to kill uh, bosses. Single target is really low uh, with this build, and currently it's only working quite well for clearing. I'm hoping to, you know, get more damage through gem quality and through uh, more levels. Just grind, clear uh, trash, and uh, hopefully get some more damage and see how single target damage feels like later. But for now, it just takes too long to kill uh, map bosses, even in a measly, you know, tier 11 um, uh, map. So this is not an uh, this is not an incinerate uh, elementalist. Uh, the single target damage is very low in comparison, and there's not much we can do. But the concept and the idea of this character was to you know hit once and then burn everything, and as you can see, that uh, works quite nicely. Uh, at least and that's what I'm uh, able to show you here in this video and uh, yeah this map is uh, basically over one big ignite to burn them all so imagine enemies burning 35% faster um, just you know would would mean so much for a build um, and of course six link and quality on the gems and all the things we mentioned uh, there's still a lot for this character to grow um, uh, a lot that we currently don't have because soul cell found but I think it's a pretty cool and interesting build and uh, it's my first time trying an ignite build doing it on soul cell found of course we have our limitations but I'm just here to show you uh, what I managed to you know be able to get um and yeah so this would be it for me for right now hope you guys enjoyed it uh thank you very much for watching and uh i will see you guys uh next time have a good one oh yeah and happy new year by the way 2020 hype